Hey everybody, Chris here at U-Joint. Sorry for the background noise, it's a busy day here at our shop and the neighbor's shop. If you follow us on social media, you've seen a lot of this rig over the last month or so. We've been building out and doing some custom tricks, which is not stuff we normally do, but um, since it was, we were able to catch up on production work this summer, we had a little free time for some custom work. So it all worked out well. Uh, this is a Coachman Cross Trail E450. I'll get to the model number here on the side. I believe it's a 22XG. Yep, 22XG if you want to look it up online and check out all the features. It's uh, it's a cool rig. It's basically a short um, RV, but it has a, a rear door that can be used as a toy hauler. So this guy has a motorcycle, and I'm going to get to that in a minute and how we uh, how we retrofitted it to haul his, his uh, KTM. So, uh, like I said, it's a 22E450. It's got the 7.3... Godzilla 6R140 behind that. Behind the transmission, we did the NP 1128F T case with flanges front and rear. Six inch lift on 33s. Got the Toyo AT3 up front, 285 70 17 on some Pro Comp La Paz wheels. Up front, we've got our all aluminum in house built front bumper, blacked out the grill. We loaded up the bumper with Baja Design lights, a worn VR12S winch. Front receiver, fair lead, factor 55 thimble, all that fun, good stuff. Up front, we've got a stage three front axle, 456 gear, true track, crossover steering. This is what we used to call the RSC upgrade, so it has Dynatrack, knuckles, hubs, and spindles. Single Fox 2.0, as usual. You can see the track bar mount and uh, custom spec springs. Uh, we swapped out these the factory steps for our cab chassis side steps available on the website bushwhacker flares and that's it up front s pod in the dash controlling all the lights and the oba so it does have our oba system mounted to the frame we did a two-piece shifter to clear the swivel seat out back we've got our 17 inch dodge wheels that we machine blast and coat uh, for the e-series with a 255 80 17 Toyo AT3 out back. So in the rear, this is where most of the custom fab happened. We made this custom bumper with this huge ramp for loading the motorcycle. Turned out really cool. Got some lights buried in there, There's some shields. There's a rear OBA mount and the spare tire mount. The factory tail lights were up here. We moved them down so we could package everything better and basically move this tire all the way to the right side to get the door open as far as possible. <clears throat> On the ramp we added a Baja Design light that's tied into the reverse lights with an override so you can light up this area whenever he wants. So Neil is going to demonstrate the ramp coming down. Uh, I'm going to show you in a minute the bike being loaded too and how the bike looks inside. So the ramp is aluminum. The structure of the bumper is all steel. Can you open that door too for me there, Vanna? Um, the dimple died and added some grip tape. So, <clears throat> we made this mount with a winch. Let me climb up in there and show you. To pull the bike up. The bike is big as you'll see. So, didn't kill too much floor space. Fridge still opens. We mount a little little winch there with a mount and a chalk so we can pull the bike in backwards. So now let's show you how that works. So the goal is to load this big KTM solo. The winch pulls it up, we're just going to steer it and that's it. Still practicing, getting the feel for it, but it's worked out really well, made it easy to load this bike solo. All right, so bike's loaded. I can strap it down to these straps or these uh, attachment points that are from the factory on the RV, which is cool. And bike is loaded. Safely, one man, all good. All right, well, that's a wrap on this project. If you don't follow us on Instagram or Facebook already, please do. We post daily shop updates. You could have watched this whole thing getting built day by day.
Any questions, leave them in the comments or shoot me an email. Chris at youjoinoffroad.com. Thanks a lot.